back to my channel as you can see i'm at the allotment right now please excuse the fact that i've got like no makeup on whatsoever i look in absolute state but this is the this is the style we go for when we're at the allotment we're not going full glam you know um so as you would have seen on Sunday's video, or might have seen on Sunday's video, I cleared a lot of stuff that I was at the back of the allotment. Today I've just come down to basically burn everything that I possibly can. So I've got a incinerator and um, I got rid of quite a lot of it um, to the tip, but I'll show you what we've got left. So sorry about the background noise, but this is what we've got left. Basically it's just tree. Um, it's essentially what we cut off this last year. Um, and we've cut off a little bit more this was an absolute mess the other day and we've tidied this up um so yeah we're just basically gonna go through and burn this today just to um keep on top of it also the other day we managed to clear this bed out so this was here when i moved in and it was just covered in ivy and um just covered in stuff we've managed to clear that out um and yeah this is kind of how it's looking at the minute I'll try and pop a video in or like a, a, even a picture of what it did look like up there before because it was an absolute mess um so you can see kind of what progress we've made from it i'm just gonna have a look a look quickly in the greenhouse see how my seeds are getting on it's very windy today um so not much coming from these but the lettuces are doing really well look at them look at all them <laughs> This will be lettuce for breakfast, lunch, and dinner because I have a feeling that each one of these things is an individual lettuce. I'm going to have to give these out somewhere. I don't think there's anything poking through on the other ones, but yeah, doing all right. just put my hood up because it's actually a really cold and windy day today i'm hoping that it doesn't rain because if it does that will really put a, a bit of a halt on today's activities but i'm hoping that once we start the fire that it'll heat up a bit and it won't be so cold <laughs> allotment <laughs> so i stopped via um tesco's and i thought Do you know what it is right i'm gonna make myself roast dinner but i'm gonna make myself like a really nice roast dinner i mean don't get me wrong my night my roast dinners are nice usually but i've been to tesco's and i thought the last couple of well not even just a couple of weeks like the last few weeks been quite low on my budget for food and i thought Do you know what it is jess treat yourself get some nice food in and have a nice dinner so i went to tesco's and i didn't just get a chicken i got tesco's finest chicken which did cost me 9.99 but then i thought you know what it is if i have one of the chicken breasts today i can use all this for over the rest of the week so it doesn't really work out kind of that expensive if you know what i mean um because this will last me a number of days of the week i then picked up some nice yorkshire puddings i very nearly went for the tesco finest ones and then i thought you know what no these look nice enough they look better than the ones from aldi anyway um and then i was getting carrots and then i saw these rainbow carrots and i thought oh fancy so um picked up some of them i'm actually thinking about trying to grow some rainbow carrots in the allotment um i just think these like little purple carrots look quite cool so i'm gonna try and grow some of them 
and then I picked up some broccoli tips um, which I'm going to pop on as well. So I'm going to stick the oven on and pop the chicken in um, and then I'm going to go to have a shower because I absolutely flip and stink, like absolutely stink of fire. Um, I probably stank out the whole of Tesco's as well. Anyone who walked past me must have thought, pfft. She stinks. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and have a shower. But we did get, we got, we got loads of stuff done there. We got loads of that. Um, we got it all burned pretty much and cut down some more bits that was like overhanging. Um, basically with the, with the trees and things there, the council is actually supposed to keep that at eight foot, but they just haven't. So anything that's like overhanging and stopping sunlight from getting to my plots, I'm just cutting, like trimming back. Um, so that's kind of what we were doing today and then obviously burnt all of it. So yeah, good job done. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound Guys, how good does this look? Unbelievable. Um, did, decided not to go up with any potatoes today, just wasn't really fancying them, but I've got all that, which I can carve and stick in a Tupperware box, and that will literally probably last me maybe three or four days. So yeah, Sunday roast on the go. So I've just um, cleaned up my kitchen area. I have done the um, dishes, but the, so this, I've decided just to let it soak. I am queen of letting things soak, to be fair, with just some of this. Now this, if you've never tried this before on like burnt on grease and things, get to know because this is, I mean, I, I've nearly finished this because it's fantastic on things like that when you need to, um, when it's got like, but you know them like crusty bits on, um, that are left behind and never cleaned away properly well. That honestly is so good. So I've just left that in the sink for a little bit. Um, and then I, this is what I use for the rest of it, just the pink stuff. Um, but yeah, so nice and clean. Is it just me or is there something like just a little bit different about having a nice clean kitchen after a Sunday roast? I don't know what it is, but cleaning the kitchen after specifically a Sunday roast is just way more satisfying. Don't know why, but it is. It is. <laughs> you can't tell me that I'm wrong. Good evening. So I've just been sat watching some telly for the last few hours. <laughs> and I've literally had such a chill day today. Um, I mean, I think the only like chores I've done is take the bins out. And that's it. Billy's just sat giving himself a little bath. Um, just sat on the iPad. So I'm making, um, I think I showed you guys, maybe it's a self-care video yeah it was the self-care video that I do like this like paint by numbers thing on my iPad and you can upload your own photos I put a photo of Billy in so I'm currently colouring in Billy <laughs> essentially whilst he's Billy are you gonna say hello to the vlog so rude um but yes yeah, so that this does bring me to the end of this video it's just been a little bit of a chit chat chill this is kind of what i got up to on my sunday sort of vlog so i uploaded like the longer vlog on sunday and you guys seem to have really enjoyed the longer content which really really makes me happy because i actually really enjoyed editing that just kind of things that i've got up to and putting them in there's not really any kind of like link between each clips but just sort of showing you what I what I got up to and the response in it has been re uh, really nice to read so yeah I'll definitely be doing some more of the longer kind of what I get up to in a week vlogs obviously only obviously I'll do them when I've got like a busy week because I kind of feel like most weeks I literally just film my videos do come do some like work on the computer and go down to the allotment like there's not like a like like there's not a lot going on but on the weeks that I do have stuff going on then I will definitely be doing like more kind of weekly vlogs so 
yeah another thing i wanted to talk about was my knee so on the weekly vlog on sunday you saw that i climbed at place fell in the lake district which was like 700 meters high and <laughs> i felt honestly i mean I, I know i was saying that i felt like i've been tortured and traumatized but i honestly I felt like I was gonna die on the way up and then on the way down like whenever you come down a mountain it's really kind of strenuous on your knees anyway and because I've got a dodgy knee to start with um my knee's just been really kind of like swollen since and like a bit it's really hard to describe the pain so sometimes it's not even pain sometimes it just feels a bit awkward so like if you can imagine so let me prop you up so that I can kind of explain so if you imagine these are my two knee bone, like this is my knee, and like when you bend it and things you go like this, it's sometimes when I straighten it, it's almost like I've got something lodged and it's preventing my knee from straightening properly. And it does straighten, but it feels like it's kind of like, like there's something in the way. So like it'll say that's it bent. When it's straightening, it's like it gets kind of stuck there and you have to sort of like, I, I, I really don't know how to explain it but that is quite painful and and then sometimes when I'm lying flat in bed it feels like I don't know why I'm telling you this because it's really disgusting but it feels like my knees like going backwards on itself it's the most bizarre horrible horrible feeling but I definitely need to rest it so I ended up cancelling my Zumba class on Wednesday that I was supposed to be going to by the way Zumba is amazing um because I've got a little bit of a background in dance so um I don't know if you guys if I've ever told you this but when I was younger I used to do ballroom and Latin American dancing um like for years and years of like my whole childhood was ballroom and Latin American dancing um competed for a while and everything um and i've not done any kind of like dance in a long time and even zumba just kind of because you do a bit of like salsa and that on zumba so it's i, I just really enjoy it and um, but i did have to cancel it because i thought do you know what jess you need to rest this knee otherwise it's just going to get worse and worse i definitely need to rest it otherwise it's just not going to get any better and well we can't have that um because i don't want to spend my life having sore knees um but yes i've been doing the exercises that the physio's given me um so far i'm not seeing a lot of improvement um a couple of people have told me to go back to the gp and say that i want a scan because i wasn't offered a scan which was a bit annoying i want to be able to i want to be as active as i used to be um and i just can't at the minute and it's really frustrating but little bits of zumba doing a mountain a month and just resting it in between seems to be working well with me at the minute so fingers crossed that it keeps going that way and hopefully getting a little bit better but who knows um so anyway i am just getting the, gonna end this vlog here because it's like 10 o'clock um and i'm gonna head up to bed i need to do my skincare because i'm getting like really random spots at the minute and i don't really know why i mean I, I have been doing my skincare but i think it's because i've been wearing a bit more makeup recently but who knows anyway so i am just going to end this video here i hope that you have enjoyed it and had a nice lovely chilled weekend and if you have enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up go hit the subscribe button below and if you want to be notified for when i do upload then hit the bell as well thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye <laughs>